Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. Time to continue my series of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Next is Famine. I'll be using the torso and head of Gulia and Skeleta's arms and legs. Pop off Gulia's legs and arms, cut away Skeleta's body, leaving the arm and leg joints intact, and just pop them into place on Gulia's body. And pop! We have our own Frankenstein monster. So let's begin! For her hair, I'll be using these three different shades of grey saran hair from Custom Doll Hair AU on Etsy. The colors I'll be using is Moonstone, Silver Fox, and another one I can't remember. It's more of a bluish toned gray. I just reroute the whole head and plug in every hole. And of course I put glue on the inside and she has a full head of hair. For her outfit, I'll be using Moonlight Jewel's Baby Doll Lolita dress, just with a modified skirt to be longer and wider. I want the skirt to go past her knees and also have a more ruffle, so I cut my own pattern piece. I then cut the pieces out of this stretchy black fabric. The skirt, sleeves, and bodice will be black, and the cuffs and collar will be white out of cotton. So for the collar, I used Delightful's trick with hemming the edges and then sewing it to the bodice, and then I cut down the middle of the collar piece and fold it on the inside of the bodice, just so it's a clean edge. I then sew the puff sleeves to the cuffs and attach the sleeves to the bodice. I then sew the side and sleeve seams and the bodice is done. For the skirt, I first hem the long edge, I gather the waist edge, and then attach the skirt to the bodice. I then sew up the back of the skirt. I also sew the bodice to the body so it's a tight fit and it fits the way I like it. So it is un not removable. Oh well. For extra details, I make a mold of this small bone and use epoxy to make tiny bones. To make the bones look more old and real, I dust on some pastels and spray them with Mr. Super Clear to seal in the pastels. To kind of match her sister Pestilence, I take this bird skull and cut out the bottom half to make a little hat or mask. Kind of like Pestilence's plague mask, which I still gotta fix. Fix. I then paint the bottom black and add two pins. To begin the face up, I cover up her hair and spray the face with Mr. Super Clear Flat or Matte. I then start with pastels and shading. I'm trying to create a skinny face look like the bone of her skull is showing through her skin because she's malnourished. I don't know. I'm trying to get that kind of look. I keep her cheek shading, but later on I remove the shading I did for her forehead. It just kept bothering me and didn't look right. More looked alien to me, really. Anyway, I keep building the layers of shading with each spray of sealant. I blush her eyes and lips, making them darker with each layer. Once I've done all I can with the pastels, I move on to the color pencils. First the whites of her eyes, then using black and shades of grey, darkening the area around her eyes. I then use the same grey and black to add details to her lips and eyes. I then copy and paste to the other eye and add some eyebrows. I also add the catch lights in her eyes. Next, I'm going to sew up her mouth. Ooh. I glue some strings across her mouth. I
go up, down, up, down, and back the other way. I then paint around the string area, covering up the glue. I don't gloss her eyes or lips. I body bush her body and I touch her head. And finally, I add the small extra details to her dress. A flask full of bones, some chains, some metal skulls, and along her skirt bottom, the clay bones and metal skull. And the doll is done. And here is Famine, the second horseman of the apocalypse. After disease and plague comes hunger and thirst. The land becomes barren, no food to eat, no water to drink. The land is dust, the earth is dry ground is cracking. The plants and trees become brittle and break. Here comes famine. She follows after her sister pestilence, leaving nothing but a starving world behind. I love how she turned out. She is exactly how I wanted. All the small details of the bones and the little skulls. It's just perfect. For next Halloween, the next horseman is approaching. The elder brother of famine and pestilence. War is coming. Thank you all for joining me today and creating this doll. It was a lot of fun. Follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more a part of my process. And subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you all for the love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye.